internet and finally welcome back to Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo. I'm Bink Deadpool and in the last time last episode uh the world changed forever. As you can see, things are not as well as they used to be. I just made a ride. <clears throat> All right, as you can tell I'm excited to be back and playing this. You know, we just got off our uh, our horror month which is really fun for a month, plural, I should say. Two months for themed like games that were played. It was it was fun. Uh, there's I'm still waiting for feedback on a few of the episodes at this point, but um, yeah, it, I'm hoping things turned out well, to be honest. But anyway, um, let's get into this. Because apparently we were playing a blonde-haired person. The only blonde-haired person I remember in this game, sorry if I'm a bit fidgety right now, I'm trying to get myself situated, uh, is Celeste. Hey, there's Sid! He's walking kind of slow, though. Hmm. Yep, kettle's still going. Oh, oh. No. No. Must have thought that, that I was coming back. Or, or Celeste was coming back. Oh wait, I'm out of bed. I blinked. And now muscle atrophy takes in and she falls flat on her face. Celeste, at, at last! Celeste, at last! You're finally awake. I feel like I've been sleeping forever. For one year, actually. I thought you were out for good. A whole year. It's been an entire year. N not since I played this, but, you know, geez, it's been an entire year in-game. Yes, and I'm about out of energy. Oh, don't tell me that, Sid. Don't. We're on a tiny deserted island. After the world crumbled, I awoke to find us here together with a few strangers. The world. So it wasn't just a dream. Where are my friends? Where's Locke? I don't know. I only know we're here. Maybe the only people left alive since the day since that day, the world's continued to slide into ruin. Animals and plants are dying. And a few others who washed up here with us passed away of boredom or despair. My friends, they're probably all gone. Celeste, you're the closest thing to family I've got. We could just live out our lives here peacefully. I suppose so, Sid. Or should I say, Granddad? May I call you that? Gramps, eh? I'm overwhelmed. All of a sudden, I'm a grandfather. Or I have a granddaughter. <coughs> <coughs> At long, my long lost granddad. <sighs> Hey, are you hungry? I haven't eaten in three or so days ever since I became ill. What would you like? Well, it's useless to say. <laughs> well, unless I ask for fish, I won't get anything. So that's all there is here. I'll go catch us some. You lay down here. All right, and I have control of Celeste again. So, oh my God, I gotta equip her with running. Sh no, not running shoes. A sprint shoes for one. I gotta equip her with stuff and things because. Oh man, I want to keep. I want to try and keep Sid alive. There is a way to keep Sid alive. Uh. But chances are his illness has gotten too bad, and he's going to 
perish from his wounds. Which is unfortunate. It's terrible, actually. So... Yeah, we'll do that. And skills, because... Alright, uh... Oh, okay, so she had mandolin on. Boop. There we go. Alright. So, I'm gonna try and catch fish. Uh, it's usually best to catch the fast ones. Because they're the, the ones... I think I caught him. I think I caught him right off. Which is awesome, so... Catch the fast ones and bring them right to... Right, you're supposed to be in bed, sir. Granddad, here's a fish. Eat up. Oh, yum. Chomp, 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 you. Cough, wheeze. I can't bear this any longer. <sighs> Alright, and see, pretty much... He gives you clues... Uh, to how well he's doing, and sometimes you can make other fish spawn up. I think you have to actually walk into the house, though. Nope. Here's a fish. I'm not long for this cruel new world. <sighs> yeah, see, they give, they're giving me bad fish at this point, so, I mean, it's like they want Sid to die. It's like the game wants Sid to die, which, I mean, for plot, I guess is okay. Here's another fish. My worst nightmare is thinking you were out here alone in this wretched island, Hackweez. Oh, come. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a, there's a, there's a faster moving fish. Come here, fishies. Not you. There we go, I got, I got the, the faster moving one, because that other one, slow moving one's kind of probably ill. Ooh, 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 fast fish, fast fish, fish, fish. give me, give me that one. Perfect. He's a better fish. Alright. Alright, so this will probably take a while, so I'll try to cut to where he either, uh, either I, I save him or he dies, so. Wish me luck. Uh, uh, while I can still talk, uh, I, I want to thank you. Okay, uh, uh, uh. so talking to him will reset the fish, which is great. That's good to know. And this is a really good fish, so thank you. That was the fast fish. I want that one. I want that one because it's the best fish. And since he's feeling a little better, I want him to feel even better. Thanks for all you've done for me. Ooh, ooh, I might, I might actually save him. I'm not gonna save him with that fish. Heck, I feel a little bit better. Damn it, he went back down. Give me that. Yes, oh, so quick, so pro, so fish capturing, like pro. English not so much. My dear, I feel I'm not going to be around... No, no, no. You're talking too well to be saying things like that. I feel much better, thanks to Les. I did it! I saved him! I fucking saved him! <sighs> What's up? Celeste, the project that kept me going during over the past year is down below. Go have a look at it. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Let's go check out his his secret project has been a raft. Granddad. Celeste, you must leave this place. You have to find your friends. I know. But I'll bring them all back to meet you. That lock fellow, too, no doubt. That's awesome. And wait, she waves goodbye. She's like, bye, Dad. Bye, Granddad. And we are off. first time we've been able to travel to do anything else in this game in so
so long. I'm excited. You guys excited? I'm excited. Oh. I'm gonna have to cut out so much from that, too. Because there was a lot of me just sitting there concentrating on trying to catch the fast fish. Trying to keep Sid stable so that way he could stay alive. Oh, yes. So much win. I'm so happy about that. And I wake up on the world map. And notice the world map music has changed as well. It's very ominous kind of tone. You know, very ominous tone. Uh, first time I heard it, I didn't really like it. Uh, after years of, you know, playing through the game, I've come accustomed to it, and I have, uh, I like how, okay, uh, I like how it's used in this world, and it kind of brings you to this feel as soon as you start out in the world. It gives you this feel of, this place isn't a, a happy place anymore, it isn't the same world that you knew a year ago. And, you know, you, uh, first glance right here, you already got freaking, like, savage freaking uber toads attacking or running away. The first one ran away. But, there's a structure there. We're going to pass that one up for now. We're going to go here to Albrook. Did you see that tower? must be the thing they were talking about, the, the structure. Kefka's up there, and he's using the power of the statues. He's like a god. That's no good. That's him... Kefka with that, with that kind of power? It's no good. You. The sparkle in your eye. What a splitting image of a man who came through here recently. Might be one of my friends. Let's check out the uh, the uh, weapon store here, weapon shop. You know what? I'm gonna buy an extra blizzard. I'm gonna buy an extra bolt blade. Because this world is dangerous. And some elemental blades could be very useful at this point. Excuse me. Anyone who opposes Kefka gets his or her town fired by the light of judgment. frame rate keeps on dipping for some reason. Everything changed on that day. When the world was ripped apart, many long-sealed monsters were released. Von Baba. Von Baba. Doom Gaze and all and the eight dragons. So those are things that I'm going to be hunting down probably in this half of the game. Check it out. We've already got all the stuff in this place, so we don't need anything from the armor shop. Which, that's okay. We're gonna come up here. What do you got to say? I finished the Emperor's portrait. It was a true representation of the Emperor, but he hated it. I ended... I ended up selling it to the... To the Ozer, a rich man who lives in Jador. See, these are little hints to things that you'll be able to do later. Let's see, relic shop. Let's see if we got any new relics. Atlas armlets. Bug. Right in front of the camera. You little shit. It's like a moth or something. Don't need any... Don't... No, we don't need anything from there. Uh, the only other building that way is the inn, which we don't need. So let's go through the tavern, which is very empty now. The last time we were through here, it was very, very packed. Oh, I think back to how nice the world used to be. See? See? This guy remembers. This 
guy remembers how this place used to be. This place was a hopping place. I could barely get through the freaking tavern. There were so many people here sometimes. Yeah, with the dancing girls and the ladies walking around, you know, doing what ladies do in a restaurant. And realize it'll never be the same again. Well, maybe one day it'll be the same, but not right now, buddy. Not right now. How can you make a GP in a world like this? On that day, debris from, the other, all, from all over the world floated eerily to the center of the landmass and formed that tower. Okay, so that's something I just never read into or I never saw that guy or whatever. Kefka pretty much created his tower out of pieces of the land of the world itself. That's crazy. You can't get into the tower from this, from down here, though. So, okay, he's gonna escape, which means I'm gonna attack the, the lizard, or the, the praying mantis. Uh, Gillo mantis, that's what it is. And I'm already halfway dead. So, this is no good, right? Magic. Uh, yeah, the. Uh, yeah, magic. Cure 2. Definitely cure 2. Oh god, don't die. Don't die. Oh! I'm so close to death. So close. This thing's hit hard. I might have to actually equip her with actual regular armor at this point in the game. Come on! Damn! This thing hits hard! And it takes a lot of damage! Okay, thank god. About to say, does a freaking random encounter take me out? Will a random encounter take out the pink Deadpool? Find out, watching more of this playthrough. Bum, bum, ba, da. There, give her a couple of potions. You're alright, you're good. Rub some dirt on it, you'll be fine. We're gonna go up to this town right here. We're gonna, we're just gonna stay here. Actually, you know what, we're gonna leave the town at this point. We're gonna, found this town here, so we're gonna save right here, outside of this town, which we just saw was to Zen. Uh, so, if you like this video, and the return of Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo, press the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. I'm Bing Deadpool, this has been Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo, and we will see each other in the next episode. <laughs> Till then, peace out. Ah, go, 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 go faster! You can't, why can't you jump? You can't jump? Because I am the cream of the crop. Ain't nobody gonna stop me going to the top because I'm the cream of the crop, brother.